Well, the day's come now. It's uh, six twenty in the morning, and we're off to do the three peaks on a glorious sunny day. I think every time I come walking the Raz, it's always sunny. Okay, how long do you think it's going to take to do all three? Uh, about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's a little over the 10 hours, 11, 12 hours. A couple of hours a day. A couple of hours a day. Do you know? 12 hours. 12 hours, do you day. reckon? If you're fully roused, perhaps double yeah. that. <laughs> uh, well, I reckon, I, yeah. I reckon we'll go, in, I'll do 11 and a half hours. <laughs> no more. Uh, 350 people, all trying to do three peaks. And now we start the ascent of Penigent. Ooh, that rhymes. And looming in the distance, in the morning sun is Penny Gent. So you drive down, um, if you come to the hill front, well, it depends what kind of... Oh, a nice bit of flat. Probably not much longer, if I wait all. Oh, some blooming steep out there. And this is just the first tail. Fantastic view. God, that were a tough bit. Well, that was a hell of a climb up that escarpment. I hope they're not all like that. And here it is, the summit of Penny End. One down, two to go. And this is taking us one hour and five minutes. Well, this is a cracking view. And it's flashish now. I can cope with that until the next one at Wernside, which is supposed to be 12 miles away. Oh, this is nice, easy walking, isn't it? Yeah. I like this sort of walking. That hill in the distance there is uh, Ingleborough, which is the final hill I've got to walk. But to get there, I have to go over there. Now the guide that uh, we just passed said that uh, I'm on the eight hour finish pace. However, I doubt I'm going to take eight hours to do it, probably more than eight. Now hit uh, the six mile mark and been walking for uh, about two hours now. So, uh, doing a good pace. Let's hope we can keep it up and we might manage to do it in under 12 hours. Whee! Downhill again. I like downhill. Downhill's nice. Uphill, less nice. Directly in front of us. It's more inside, and I can see, you not be able to see it, but it's the Ribble Head Viaduct. Just before that, there's our first rest point stop. Now we just passed a sign that said Ribble Head Viaduct, three miles, so uh, that's good. We are well on time. 
current pace that should set us there for uh, somewhere around about half past ten which is half an hour ahead of schedule Is up the valley, which you can't see, so this road takes us to the rest stop, which is nice. Oh, the river headway is getting closer, and so is the stop. Here we are, the rest stop. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. And we've done 10.2 miles in three hours. Oh, off we go. Next peak. Which is Wernside. Hopefully it's not as steep to get up as Penny Ghent. If it is, I'll be dead. Start of the ascent up to Wernside. Rest time. Halfway up Wernside and taking the view. starting to flatten out. That was a very long, slow, steep descent from Wernside. We're heading towards our next hill. And final one, which is Ingleborough. I'm told it's a very steep descent up Ingleborough. Might have to do it in two bits, so I'm not quite sure whether the legs are willing to do it all in one go. Coffee coming up, which hopefully does ice creams, even though I can't eat the ice creams. Maybe I could get a lolly. That would be nice. Yay, I got a lolly. That should help me with the hydration and cooling me down because it's hot. It is tempting to go and have a pint, isn't it? But we must press on. Must we not? Sorry? No, 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 no. If we stop, we're not going to get started again, are we? <laughs> this looks an evil mountain. But it's the last one. Once we get it off, it's downhill all the way. Yay! Well, the ascent is about to start in earnest. I can see people going so far, but can't work out which way they go. Once they reach this ridge, probably directly up. Oh, yes, they do. I can see it. Oh, God. This is going to be slow. And I'll need to definitely need to sit down when we get to the top. Oh, 
we're now at the 20 mile mark and the worst bit is yet to come and near vertical ascent up onto Ingleborough that's why we're having a rest before we attempt that this is going to be tough I thought Penny Gemp was bad this morning right we're halfway up We've got 298 feet to go till we get to the top. Right, 10 minutes rest then. Then we'll go for it. We've got five hours before we run out of time. I think we'll manage it. Don't you? Yeah. God. And we made it to the top. Who ever in their right mind decided to put the path up there? And the summit is inside. This mountain is toying with us. It gives us false hope that we've reached the summit. Finally. Summit, Finger of Hell, should be renamed Hill of Hell. And we take a right hand turn towards Horton in Ribbledale, which is 4.4 miles away. Mere dottle after walking 20 odd. And, barring any major problems, we should finish it within 12 hours. Be Horton in Ribblesdale, my destination. And I sit down and I'm back. And the time I got nine hours fifty for all three peaks. My feet and other bits of my body are going to feel this later.